Here are a selection of sample eight mark questions for the play Bold Girls by Rona Munro and suggestions for how to tackle each of these questions. In the question, you will be expected to make a general introduction referring to the question and its wording, and then to quote and analyse at least once from the extract, that's the part that you're given in the exam, and then to do the same twice from two other parts in the play that are relevant to the question. And these questions vary from year to year, so you need to be ready to react accordingly. If you can't think of a quote to prove your point, at least mention a technique, uh, for example, stage directions, or lighting, or something that happens that one of the characters does, and that should help. Question one, comment on the use of different dramatic techniques. And if you're wondering what dramatic techniques are, here are a few suggestions. Characterization, setting, stage directions, lighting changes, monologues, symbolism, and sound. In the overview part of your answer, you might pick out two or three of that list and refer to how these techniques have been used effectively in the play. Let's imagine that the extract in the exam is in scene four, where Cassie and Marie are arguing. The use of the stage direction is very effective here because the word pause is mentioned twice in quick succession, thereby building suspense as we, the audience, wonder what's going to happen. The other two points that you could pick out if you were asked about dramatic techniques might be, for example, where lighting is used very effectively in the scene where the club is raided, that's scene two. Hard white light marks the start of that raid, and then when the raid is over, the hard white light is cut, and you could mention that very effectively. Another technique used, and this would be your third point, is symbolism. The knife is used to symbolise truth, which is one of the main themes in the play. So therefore, that would definitely be worth mentioning, perhaps when Deirdre talks about using a knife to get the truth. Question two, discuss the role of Deirdre in the play. In the overview part of your response to this question, you would certainly want to include the word catalyst, because a catalyst in science is something that makes things happen or affects other things. And Deirdre certainly does this in the play. Her actions and what she says affect all three other members of the cast. If, for example, the extract were the scene where she arrives at Marie's flat, you could mention the stage directions where it says there was a thunderous knocking at the front door. Thunder has connotations of a storm and Deirdre's arrival is certainly going to create a storm in this close group of friends. For the other two parts, you could mention the effect that she has on two other characters. Firstly, Marie, because Marie is now going to have to face up to the truth about Michael. And we can see this when she says at the end, your daddy was a man like any other. We now know that this has affected her because she has changed. And Cassie is also affected by Deirdre because in scene two, Deirdre mentions that she's seen Cassie with a man, with him. And at this point, Cassie knows that her cover is blown and that she is going to have to confess to her best friend that she's had an affair with her husband. Question three. Discuss the relationship between Marie and Cassie in the play. In your overview, at the beginning of your response, you would want to mention that Cassie and Marie are good friends at the start of this play. They're united in their adversity against the challenges that life throws at them. However, their relationship is going to change when the truth comes out about Cassie having had an affair with Marie's husband. If the extract were, for example, scene two, where Cassie is mentioning that she's dreading her husband Joe coming home out of prison, we could comment on how Marie shows herself to be a caring friend at that point. She says, I won't let you go crazy when Joe comes back. And this shows that she really thinks about her friend and wants to protect her. So their relationship is good. We could also, for two other points, mention two parts of scene four. Firstly, the fact that Cassie is also showing concern for Marie and is frustrated by the fact that she's almost in denial about her own financial situation. Cassie can see the three red bills on the mantelpiece, whereas Marie is claiming all is well. Again, in scene four, we see the breakdown of this relationship. When Cassie confesses to Marie that she's had the affair, Marie is horrified and it's written in capital letters, get out of my house, is her response when Cassie has just told her, we were both lying to you for years. Question four. What challenges do the bold girls face in their lives? In the overview section, in response to this question, you could mention various challenges. My goodness, they don't have their challenges to seek these girls. 
There are the Troubles, the war that's happening outside them between the Protestants and the Catholics. There's the lack of men in their lives to help and support them. They're either in prison or they're dead. There's the poverty that they face. And there are also problems and challenges between the characters themselves. Let's imagine the extract where the opening, where there's a reference to the helicopter. And this prepares us for the fact that there are raids, that there's damage to people's property, that there's the lack of privacy. So we can see that that would be one big challenge for the ladies. Then moving on to other parts of the play where we can see the challenges, there are two, both of them in scene four. Firstly, poverty. These women face poverty as referenced by Cassie's comment about the three red bills on Marie's mantelpiece. The other part is where we can see challenges between the characters. Cassie has betrayed her best friend Marie by having an affair with Marie's husband, Michael. That's certainly a challenge. Question five. How is the theme of gender explored in the play? In your overview section of your response to this question, you would certainly want to mention the rather stereotypical approach to gender that is taken in this play. And this would be typical of the way that men and women were treated at this time. This is back in the 1980s, early 90s. The women would be expected to stay at home, looking after the children and doing the housework, where the men were out to work. Only in this case, the men were either in prison or dead because of the time at which the play is set. If we imagine that the extract came from Cassie's monologue in scene two, where she's contemplating how her childhood was, we can see the inequality clearly. She talks about how her mother would spoil the wee girls with housework, and this is meant ironically, while she favoured her son. If we look for two other places where we can see this gender imbalance, we can see in the opening scene the reference to piles of laundry in Marie's flat, showing that she's at home doing this sort of work, and also Nora's reference in scene two to her dream of 15 yards of pale peach polyester. Domesticity is the destiny of these women. In scene four, Marie has had an epiphany. She's reflecting on the difference between men and women, and talking about men, she says, they don't want to be raging and screaming and hurting more than they can ever forget in the booze or the crack or the men beating men. Here she sees clearly that men's lives are not necessarily simple either and it makes her feel differently about the genders. Question six. Show how conflict and or violence is an important feature in the play. The play is set during the late 1980s, early 1990s, the time of the Troubles in Northern Ireland when there was conflict between Protestants and Catholics. So that is one element of conflict or violence. However, that's not the only one. There is also violence and conflict within the women's lives. There is violence between husband and wife. There is conflict between mother and daughter. And there is also, by the end, conflict between friends. So these are the aspects that you would look at in your overview. Moving on to the extract, let's imagine that it is the part where Deirdre is threatening Marie because she wants to find out the truth for, about her father. This is in scene four. She uses a knife and that knife symbolises her quest for the truth, but it is violence. Also, if you want to find two other points where violence or conflict are uh, relevant, in scene four, we see that Marie's response when she finds out about Cass's affair with her husband is that she raises a heavy plate and is ready to smash it down on her friend's head. She doesn't do it, but she might. And there's the hint of conflict and violence there, conflict between friends. Another part where we see conflict or violence is in scene two, where there is a raid on the club where the girls were dancing. There's a reference to the lighting being hard white light, and that at the end of the said raid, after they've been searched and interrogated, that hard light is cut. We see here the effect of conflict, the outside conflict, the troubles, on the everyday lives of these women. Question seven. Discuss how truth is presented in the play. In your overview, in your response to this question, you would certainly want to focus on the importance of the theme of truth in this play. It's central. Marie has been avoiding the truth, Cassie has been concealing the truth, and Deirdre is desperately seeking the truth. Let's imagine that the extract were the part where Deirdre is contemplating how a knife was used to get the truth out of someone, and she talks about a wee bit of hard truth that you could hold in your hand. This is her reference to the knife. She sees the truth as desirable and something tangible that you can almost touch. 
If we wanted to find two other places where the truth is referenced in the play, there are many. In scene four, we have Cassie telling Marie, we were both lying to you for years. And we see that she has been concealing a truth from her best friend. But sometimes the truth isn't always desirable because this has hurt her best friend terribly. It's not always good to know the full truth. A white lie can sometimes be a good thing. Another part where we see the truth playing an important role is where we see that Marie has now accepted that Michael was not the person she was trying to imagine him to be. And instead of thinking that Michael was a good man and a brave man, as she told her children originally, she now says to Deirdre, your daddy was a man like any other. In the other Bold Girls videos, we look at an overview of the play itself and 15 key quotations. See you next time. If you found this or any of our other videos useful, it would be great if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for your support.